bandit. It looks like Morgana has made her way onto the field. How can you tell? How do you face the league's best, second best ERA buzz after that? <laughs> Morgana Roberts from Louisville, Kentucky was active as her alter ego, Morgana the Kissing Bandit, from 1969 through 1996. A five foot nine inch blonde with green eyes, she ran away from boarding school at age 13 and looked for work in the Baltimore area while homeless. Turning to exotic dancing while under the age of 18, she quickly became successful due to her, well, they were known as baseball stats. One of her dancing nicknames was Morgana the Wild One. Acting on a dare one night at Cincinnati's Riverfront Stadium, Morgana rushed the field and kissed Red Star Pete Rose, who was not at all amused with her stunt. A local sports writer coined the phrase, Bandit Steals Kiss, in the next day's newspaper, and the legend began. Her surprise appearances were not confined to the diamond, though. She made her way onto the ice at NHL games, as well as NBA courts. She held no prejudice toward any victim, targeting umpires, managers, and even chickens. Uh, here we go again. We've had an interference on the... Uh... Is that the kissing bandit? That's Morgana. Who has kissed George Brett, Frank Howard, a number of others. Bob Hope enjoying it. <laughs> the, the commissioners are having a meeting and Bob Hope's <laughs> laughing. That tells you something. <laughs> Look at Hope. <laughs> Let it be known she was not part of organized acts on any team's behalf. It has been reported that Morgana was beaten by security, arrested, and jailed numerous times, not to mention the dozens of injuries suffered while attempting to gain access to fields of play. A smart businesswoman, she parlayed this celebrity status into countless ventures, from her own trading cards, to endorsements, to personal appearances at ballparks, and even taking part ownership in a minor league team. All the time, she continued dancing and dabbled in comedy. Morgana officially retired from in-game festivities in 1999 and continues living the quiet life with her family. What better time of the year to look back on a true heartthrob and give thanks the only logical way. Back at you, babe.